Welcome back to The Current, the quick response news program from Jockey Club T College. Where we report on the latest issues, events, and culture. I'm Happy. And I'm Amanda. Amanda, do you know that breaking is going to be a new event at the Paris Olympics 2024? Breaking? Like breaking placer glasses? I mean the dance style called breaking. Oh, right. I heard it will replace baseball in the Olympics. But what exactly do they break? Your next when you're doing a has been? Of course not. The name breaking has to do with the origin of the dance. There's this scene in the movie Flashdance where some b-boys are top rocking, busting out backspins, freezes, and a move that would later be called the moonwalk. But they aren't just some random kids. They're members of the Rocksteady crew, one of the most influential crews that brought Hollywood fame to breaking. Many people recognize the term break dancing, a name coined by the media in the 80s. But the pioneers and practitioners of the dance form call it b-boying or breaking. The name breaking is broadly believed to have come from DJ Cool Herc in the Bronx in New York City. When hosting block parties in the 70s, he started isolating the beats to create breaks in the song. It just refers to a moment in the song where you build tension by having the, the instruments drop out and just having percussion or percussion in the bass, basically the rhythm section. A scholar named Barbara Browning um, had, the, had this great way to describe it where she says you feel impelled to uh, fill the silence with motion. The break is a part of a lot of um, African American and Afro-Caribbean music, especially Latino music, which is a big part of the roots of, of this dance, Puerto Rican and Cuban music in particular. Traditionally, b-boys and b-girls dance to a mix of funk, jazz, techno, rock, and disco. The sound of the music is very aggressive um, and very percussive. It's a battle dance, so the music gets people in the mood to battle. You want to be able to really rock the beat. You want to be able to play with those rhythms and reflect them in your body. So breaking was inspired by the drum breaks when a DJ was switching from one song to another. I guess only a music break could provide ample space for the b-boys and b-girls to display their power moves in a club. should consider including that in LP lessons. Hmm, I'm not so sure. It definitely looks cool, but some of the tricks look a little dangerous. I wonder what students think of breaking. Me too! Let's go to our reporter Sophie and see what she found. Thank you, Amanda and Happy. After showing our schoolmates some videos, we asked, what do you think of these breaking dancers? I think they are very talented. Oh, I think it's really cool and it requires a lot of strength and skill. So whoever knows how to break dance is very impressive. I think those dancers are so skillful. I think the break dancers are really cool because, um, and they are really strong because they not have to push themselves up and do a lot of difficult poses for the dance. They are so cool. I think that they are really cool. I think they're really cool. They make me laugh sometimes. Do you think breaking should be an Olympics event? I don't think so because it's not considered as, as a sport. Sure, why not? Because it requires as much practice and skill just as much as any other Olympic sport. I think it should be a, an Olympics event because it is kind of a sport. Yeah, because it can test those Olympic gamers' strength on the body. Yes. I don't think so because it is a subjective item. Yes, I think so. Like breakdancing kind of for athletes for their fitnesses. Would you like to learn breaking? No. Sure, because I'm already learning other types of dancing like jazz, funk, and hip hop. So I think breaking would be an interesting dance to learn. Yes, because I think it's cool. 
No, although it's really cool, but um, it's pretty dangerous. I feel. No, because it looks like it easily get injured. Yes, because I want to challenge myself. No, because I already have a lot of things to do. Do you think it would be a good idea to include breaking in RP lessons? No, I don't think so. Yes, because right now in our PE lessons we don't include any form of dancing, so I think breaking would be a nice choice. Yes, because I can learn more about different type of sports. No, because again, it's really dangerous and it requires a lot of energy. No, because there is not enough space. I don't think so because breaking is quite dangerous, and some of the students might not be able to handle it. Yes, I do. I think it will be funny to see our classmates trick dancing. What other sports would you like to learn in our PE lessons? Dodgeball. I think I would like to learn skateboarding. I would like to learn sailing. Hockey. Wake surf because I love playing with the sea. Maybe fencing. I think it's interesting because I saw it in the Olympic Games. Back to you, Amanda. Happy. Thank you, Sophie. That was quite interesting. A lot of students would like to learn breaking. Well, if you have some doubts, maybe our PE teachers should consider teaching breaking in PE lessons. Whether it's going to be in our PE lessons or not, I'm glad that breaking is finally getting the international spotlight it deserves, despite its origin from street culture. I can't agree more. These B boys and B girls must train hard to nail all those moves, which is just like athletes in any other sports. It's nice to see more street sports feature in the Olympics. Like skateboarding. Indeed, while this sport may not be mainstream, the athletes' hard work and talent deserve our applause too. Anyhow, that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. And see you next time in the next episode of The Current. <laughs>